All right, this is part five of the welder cart project, and everything takes longer than you thought it would, doesn't it? So I'm, I'm plugging along here, though, and I uh, just wanted to break this down and show some welding, some outside corner joints on some cold rolled steel, and laying them out here to get the cuts. These are the brackets that the bottles are going to rest against. So this is what the uh, go on the back side of the, of the cart and are going to have holes drilled and S hooks and chains and it's going to hold two cylinders or probably for a TIG welder unit with uh, argon and helium possibly for a multi-process machine that will have 7525 as well as argon. My original plan was TIG welder so just going to lay these things out using these magnets and get them all all kind of sort of you know where they need to go and then get tacks here and there and of course they'll give really easily and I can tweak them around however I need to. I'm just getting one tack in the middle to start with so I can move them around very easily and actually it's going together pretty easily with the magnets. They're lining up flat against each other corner to corner and then I can get a, a really quick tack on there with just a drop of filler metal and then I can move on to the next one and that's what it, that's what the finished product is going to look like there's two of these there will be one of them three quarters of the way up the cylinders and then one about a third of the way up and they'll have chains on each one and we'll see how that that works out if that doesn't hold them tight enough I'll maybe put a hook for a ratchet strap also so again the cart is 18 inches wide this is roughly 17 and a half so that gives just enough room on the edges for a nice little fillet weld and it's going to work out just fine so I'm going to go ahead and weld them up you know I got another tack or two here and there but I'm going to go ahead and clamp them to a big block of aluminum on all these outside corner joints and that's going to prevent prevent them from warping much at all and make them weld a lot nicer just as if they had argon backing almost with aluminum back there this is probably about 90 amps doesn't take much to do an outside corner joint probably one of the easier joints there is to do and most common for building any kind of a tank or bracket or anything like that it's just a very easy way to put a 90 degree a 90 degree um, L in something is just put it up corner to corner put some backing behind it and weld it so those are all done and, and uh, of course with the help of the little stubby gas lens there came out nice and uh, with a with nice color on them and so now I'm going to tack weld them to the back of the cart put a little straight edge up there a piece of extra tubing just to get it lined up with the very top of the cart get a couple of tacks on it and then it'll be ready to weld out same thing below and even though the, even though they they aren't really uh, they don't have a back side to them they're not really rigid once I get one tack on each side they're surprisingly rigid and they'll be fine for pulling the bottles up against with them welded all the way out against the cart and I'm gonna put this cross piece in here to support the bottles on the bottom and my thinking is that that space in there between the back of the cart and that cross member will be an easy place to catch a lip of a bottle and then just kind of tilt it on in We'll get that squared up and, and level with the uh, rest of the tubing and get tacks on it and get it welded up. And we'll weld it all up. I'm using the Hobart 210 MVP with 030 diameter wire. And that looks something like this. Somewhere around 230 to 250 inches a minute of wire feed speed probably somewhere around 18 to 19 volts. The, the machine doesn't really read out in exact voltage or inches or minutes. It's just numbers, so I'm just guessing. We'll talk about how to set up a MIG machine in a, in a series coming up really soon. But this is the kind of the finished product here, all decked out. And uh, when I get it, when I get machine on there, I'm going to show uh, how to Y helium and argon together and uh, how I've done it anyway and get more out of a TIG welder.